Lights. Camera. Camera rolling. And action. Gia. Calamity Productions. So, Harold, how are you today? Uh, I'm good. Uh, okay, maybe not so good. I'm here, right? Well, well Harold, <laughs> I think that's up to you. Now, tell me what bothers you. Not bothered, just confused. I don't know how to explain it. My mom, Helen Brown, she referred me to you. Okay. Harold, from this point forward, just call me Tom. So, let's talk about what's on your mind. Are you happy? Are you sad? Tell me how you really feel. Well, I met a girl and I think she's the one. That doesn't sound like a bad thing. As a matter of fact, it sounds pretty good. That's not it. There's more. And I'm happy, but I just don't think it's gonna work. Okay, why? I have a problem being faithful to just one woman. I mean, it's like I have to have multiple women. Um, is it the sex? Because that's not necessarily a problem, you know, being a good-looking young man like yourself. No, it's not even the sex most of the time. I mean, I'm good at it. I'm, I'm damn good. <laughs> I just like hearing them tell me that I am. Oh, oh my God. You are really good at this. Yeah. Like, really good. Like, nobody ever made my body feel like this. Are you real? Y yeah. Not like a robot or anything? like that in prom night. Is that a good thing? Yeah, man. That's a great thing. Oh, I gotta pee. Okay. They all say stuff like that. And if they don't, I lose interest fast. So are you seeking praise for your performance? Yeah, I guess so. Okay, um, let's switch subjects. Tell me about your mom. 
I love my mom. She did the best she could since my pops wasn't around. She always had to work, so it was like she was hardly around. Okay, and do you know your dad? No. I never met him. He, he left my mom before I was born. Um, is that all you know about him? Yeah. My mother never talks about him. And my family didn't like him, so they don't talk about him either. But you know what? Fuck him. He missed out. I'm doing fine without his ass. <laughs> okay, Harold. I'm, I mean, are you mad? At your father. You know what? It don't even matter. Growing up in the hood without a father is normal. I did fine for myself. I got a great career. I got a master's degree. And I got a girl that loves me. I mean, truly loves me. Harold, I mean, these are all great accomplishments. And I'm sure your father would be very proud. I don't care what he thinks or cares about. All he did was make me want to do better. As a man and as a father. Okay. I mean, I understand everything you feel. I mean, let me share this with you. I myself grew up without a dad. And I mean, not to be braggadocious, but... Um, I'm doing pretty well for myself. But, <laughs> um, let's switch reels. Tell me about that new love of yours. She's great. She's my queen. Her name is Jasmine, and I've never felt this way about anybody before. See, she's great. I'm just trying my hardest not to ruin it. Okay, you said ruin it. How would you ruin it? <laughs> because when girls get too close, I push them away. And we're getting really close. I mean, to me, she sounds like a really great young lady. Now, does happiness scare you? I mean, are you pushing her away because of her? Or are you pushing her away because you're afraid of getting rejected by someone you love? Well, no. I don't, I don't know, because I've done it before. Let me ask you, um, does this go back to you missing your father? Is that why you're afraid to let anyone get too close? I know. I know. How do I fix it? <sighs> well, it's going to take some time. But acknowledging there's a problem is a really great start. <sighs> I think it's time you met your father. I mean, really meet him face to face. I wouldn't know what to say. All my life, I pictured seeing him and beating him down for not being there. <laughs> okay. Uh, you don't want to do that. I mean, violence doesn't solve anything. And uh, 
how do they say in the hood? Um, a beat down's a beat down. But it doesn't solve anything until you get to the root of the problem. You see, it's not even all about him at this point. I know. I know. Um, do you know how to find your father? I mean, do you have a contact of some sort? Yeah, my mother said he called a couple months ago. She should have his number. Okay. I really believe that meeting with him will bring you closure. Maybe. Thanks, Tom. I feel great. You got me thinking some good thoughts. I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, before you go, let me share this with you. You see, I don't make you do anything. I'm here merely to let you realize what's important to you. Take care. psychologist cool he said he wanted me to set up an appointment with my father do you have your father's number yeah I got it from my mom I, well, I'm gonna call him in a minute well well um I had a doctor's appointment what appointment? I didn't know you had an appointment today. Yeah, the, um, the doctor said that, that in eight months, you're gonna be a dad. Oh my God, wow, <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'm happy that you're excited. I was scared because I didn't really know what to expect. I promise you, I will always be there for you and our baby. I'll never do you like this fool did me and my mom. I know, baby. And that's why I love you. Now, I'm gonna leave you alone so you can make that phone call, okay? Fuck okay, that, babe. You said violence doesn't solve anything. So you can just go. I'm not here to referee, Harold. I'm here because I'm your father. Yo, who? Harold. I'm, I'm your father. I don't believe this shit. Why didn't you just tell me? Look, when you first came to my office, I didn't know you, but then 
you start talking and you mention your mom was Helen Brown and then, I mean, I listened to you and I put two and two together and I figured out who you were. And you let me keep talking, you bastard? Is everything okay? Look, okay, look, I, I just wanted to hear you talk. I just wanted to get to know you. I mean, after listening to you, man, I know I wasn't there for you, brother, but look at you. You turned out great. No, I didn't. I'm the most fucked up person I know. I can't even love a woman that loves me to death because of you. Now, wait a minute, Harold. It wasn't all my fault, son. Son? You don't get to call me that. You don't get to call me son. Okay. Okay, Harold. Look. I wasn't there for you. You're right. I fucked up. And for that, I am sincerely sorry. Sorry? You're sorry. Do you know what it's like being a kid growing up making Father's Day gifts for your mom? Or having your mom teach you how to fight, ride a bike, or pee standing up? Harold, look, I'm, I'm sorry for all that. I know it's hard to understand, but, but it was hard for me too. I mean, I'm the one that went from a lover to a father overnight. And I wanted to be something. I wanted to be a doctor. There wasn't shit gonna stand in my way. I mean, not you, not you. Listen, not you. I mean, it was just the timing. I'm, I just wasn't ready for a baby. But you had one. I know. And, and I know I wasn't in your life, but not a day went by when you weren't on my mind. You were always in my thoughts. Your thoughts don't mean shit to me, man. I waited my whole life for you just to hear you say, good job, or I'm proud of you, son. But I can see that was just a waste of my time. So, so what are you saying? I never needed your praise. I just wanted it. But you know what? I'm a grown ass man and I'm moving on with my life. Wait, 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 Harold, 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 come on. Come on, man. Okay. Okay, uh, you're right. I wasn't there, but I'm here now. I mean, maybe we can start off as friends and, and I got connections, I can help friends. I don't need your friendship and I don't need you as a father. But I do forgive you for not being there when I needed you. And I thank you for giving me a model of what a man is not supposed to be. Take care of yourself, Tom. Have a good life. Harold. Harold! Just wait. Okay. You're right. I wasn't there for you. But I'm here now. You know who I am, Harold. And if you ever need me, you know where to find me. Right. You were right. This did bring me closure. Thanks. Telling beats. I got memories of my mom, but very few of you. Got memories of my mom, but very few I grew hate for you when they laughed at me and talked about me when I was at school. School. I grew strong, no, strong. couldn't do no wrong, no, trying to be like you. Be like you. you told me to pack my bags and I waited outside, but you never came through. You never came through. Built up so much anger, I punch on these walls and I put to the you. Wake up every morning, go and grab a bottle. I got that from you. I got that from you. I got that from you. Think that I'm having all these issues cause of you. Think that I'm having all these issues cause of you. 
Feel like I wouldn't hide these issues if I had you Cause it got hard and it was cold But I was alone and I had to grow without you